Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is Julia with JFP Freedom. Uh, today I will share one excerpt from a word I received on January 20th, 2023. Build Back Better word that I received, I will share that as well. And it has excerpts for different people. If you're having any problems with your pets, um, that also will be a topic in that one. I want to give the Lord credit for putting his words in my mouth and appointing me this day over the nations of the earth, if, if they so choose to listen, to uproot and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Credit given to the Lord. So I'll we'll start with Armageddon. The terrible more than terrible show. My dove is right in a sense. It'll be like watching nuclear bombs go off. But it'll be worse, more terrible than Hiroshima or the other Japanese town that got hit. I forget the name. I didn't want to mess it up when I heard. For bodies, dead bodies, bodies of creatures I am has no name for, for they were not made of me, and Adam wasn't there in the garden to name them, for they weren't there. All these new creatures with new names were not meant to exist. I am reveals to you today and the online audience. For they were not created when I made, I called good. Sorry, I think I missed a word there, but y'all get what it's saying. I do not call these things good at all, but rather an abomination. So uh, just a side note, it's my temptation as an English teacher, former English teacher, to go back and correct anything that sounds weird, but God has rebuked me for that. So if I missed a word, I missed a word, and I just try to stick with what I heard. And y'all can kind of fill in the blank sometimes and know what it's meant to say. This is a long Rima from October 17th. Again, I took the video down, not because it wasn't from the Lord, but just because of my commentary. So I'm going to add this here. The blood calls out my name in physical form, my loves. Special prizes in heaven await those who don't defile their blood with the next waves of fall illness and Vicky. They set out to scare you with their news media coverage Scare tactics, overblown, overblown illness numbers from the flu or corona. No, my friends, loves, those numbers are actually mostly vicked people overreacting to the local fall strain of the flu for that or this year or this or that season. Do not fear the bird flu, the champin chimpanzee make you silly like monkeys flu. It is all a lie, joke on you, the public, to see if you'll to see if you'll believe anything. Although there may be a tiny grain of truth thrown in for the Satanist conscious, conscience's sake, but remember, I am loathes half-truths. And there is a psalm that says that. Most have hook, line, and sinker straight, straight to the ICUs for special care. They saying they believe the lie. Maybe their soul's ready to travel to heaven or hell, but do they seek me on their ride to the hospital? Usually not. They're just thinking what they did wrong and how they can fix it, thinking their lives are in their hands and not I am's almighty arms. Fools, do you not know your time on this earth is almost up? Do you not know you are either a flower or a blade of grass, depending on the status of your heart before the great I am? Do you not know? Um, that's from that verse from Isaiah. All men are like grass, and their their righteousness like the flowers of the field. So, people with no righteousness are like grass, and those that are righteous look like flowers. I like that poetry. Back to the message. Do you not know? Have you not heard? From the beginning of time, I am has known this midnight hour would come. Midnight. Spell it as Tony has for his website. My loves, check out Tony's website again and see the facts for yourselves. He operates through the guidance of my Holy Spirit to find truths for the masses, unbelievers or no, otherwise. For those of you with asleep or unbelieving family members to the hour humanity finds itself in, please direct them to Tony's website. See the link below or above this message and be shocked with unbelief as you see their eyes finally open to this dark hour of humanity, the calm before the storm. I know many of you don't think this is calm. I see the turmoil rolling clouds in your hearts and minds as the financial troubles really set in and take root in the majority of Americans' lives. Americans' lives. 
This is just the beginning, my formerly obedient, but now mostly wayward folk. Yeah, he's saying mostly wayward for the unbelievers. How will you handle the heat? My baseball loving, football loving, hot dog loving, wieners roasting on Sundays, and a cold beer for the game nation. And there's a side note about beer. Sorry, the phrase before was a cold beer from the cooler, the game nation. Um, and the phrase says, a bit of beer from time to time. Remember my son drank wine at the Last Supper and even acknowledged the fact by speaking about it. Partly so alcohol consumption would be seen as a freedom in Christ, non-issue in future, my loves. Temperance is the name of the game, my dears. And now back to the info about Americans' favorite game. I will be checking out the Super Bowl the next day after it's recorded in the middle of the night. Unfortunately, it's the middle of the night here in Europe when it gets on TV. I am love some of your tra traditions that include the whole family are kid friendly. I'm sad when the adults ignore the kids, though, for the sake of an idol like a football game on TV. Come on, dads and moms, too. Some dads need your help. Let's make it fun for the kids, too. How, you ask? How about a quick game of flag football before or after the TV presentation? Or if there are not enough people, a quick game of toss the football with your little girl or boy. Trust me, the girls will love it too. And your kids will notice the real genuine attention you're giving them as a loving parent with oh so much gratitude. Trust me, my true folks in the faith. You can make all things work for my glory if they're not out of my will. And a family football game is not a sin. I remind you ladies who hound your hubbies each weekend when the round of NFL games comes on, comes on. Give your man a break, wife. Serve him some beer and chips if he wants it and talk to him about the game of catch I just mentioned. Pray in advance before you bring it up to that burly, sometimes surly man and see if his heart doesn't warm to the idea. You can take credit for this one if you so wish, my loves, but not always. Give I am credit when credit is due. For I love guiding my true saints in the faith when it's done properly out of humility. Do you like this practical advice, my loves, even if you're not married or don't have kids? You see, I like to guide my children specifically, and that should encourage those of you who carry the pain of childlessness or singleness or both. Many losses coming and have comp, even to my true saints in the faith. I see your heart, my son, and it is golden but broken at the moment. Push those broken pieces over to me, my lovely son, true son in the faith. And I will patch back up nicely for you, and you will finish your race in due time. I won't leave you with that heartbreak status forever. And she waits for you, my lovely son, with patience and joy. No more pain for her. She walks in health and has been healed from all disease that was painfully, exhaustingly consuming her body. Yes, I speak of Candace a faithful wife in body, heart, and soul, firstly to the great I am, and secondly to you, my dear Keith. I am reminds you, I made her first and had her first, so to speak, to give to you, and so I've taken her back again first to be with me. She will not be visiting you on earth, so don't fall for any demonic deception in that regard, as many saints sadly have in superstition. Visits to heaven or in dreams are possible, but a standing Oh, that means happening all the time in German. Ghostly visitation from a dead relative is truly a demon or multiple demons pretending to be the deceased, my dears. Do not fall for those silly traps of the wily dark side. They are clever, not stupid. Remember, my loves, for Satan is described as a crafty snake, which is known for its ability to catch the prey off guard and unawares. Don't catch yourself drifting off into the hazy gray of the esoteric, my loves, but stay true to my word. What does it say about the dead in Christ? It is a mystery, but it says they will rise from the dead one day at I am special pocket watch timing, or, and, to die in Christ, or to be with Christ is gain. So how's that for scriptural backup, my doubting ones? Does it say the Spirit will roam the earth? But no, in fact, as my clever saints recall right now in their minds, the spirits described roaming the earth are sprites, little demons that can cause much harm to the persons or animals they inhabit. Yes, animals too, my loves. Does your dog or cat or other pet seem to want to attack you daily on a regular basis for no reason? 
Don't kill it or have it put down, but rather cast the sprites out of that little creature in Yeshua's mighty name, the only name that can save, and watch the little body relax in relief and maybe even pass out and sleep for some much-needed rest. Casting out demons is truly meant to be a skill for all my loves, meant to be a skill for all my I am's saints. Don't freak out on me, those of you with little experience. I see your pattering hearts. So let this be a practice round for you if you've never tried it. What great practice for you, my trembling doves. What do you have to lose? Your pet? You will have to put them down eventually anyway if this doesn't work. So go ahead and try it. Yes, you're welcome. I am seized by the power of the Holy Spirit, who I am's Rima words hit in the face today. Each day, a child listens to a prophet. And today, ding, 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 you're the winner. Yes, it's for you, my love. Stop doubting and just be thankful. I am can see your sad, pitiful situation and truly cares about the pain you carry as a result. I am knows pets are family to some of my more lonely souls out there, and God, God forbid, I am let Satan rob you of your only true friend at the moment, even if they get around on four legs instead of two. That's all right, my loves, no shame. That animal was a gift to you. Forget handmade of the Most High's words that you have to kill and eat your pets and babies and children. No, or your neighbors for that matter. That is not I am's will for anyone, and I will guide people to find other alternatives besides cannibalism. Although, yes, for a tiny minority, 10%, it might be a reality or threat. Let I am guide you on this site, my loves. He means the Prophecy 444 site. Does a word cause you tremendous fear? Then lay it before my great throne with stretched out hands and a few steps back from the Sache, which is German for, for things, and wait for I am to give you a confirmation. Please, my lovely saints, don't always pray out loud, especially on matters of the Rima, but rather ask me silently and wait for a response from I am's hand. Otherwise, you most likely will get demonic interference. I love you all with an unfailing love. Now don't fail me in the trial periods coming up. Get ready to fall in every way possible, America. Time is up for the whore of Babylon. Not you, my loves, but you're surrounded by reprobates and miscreants. The bell, t <laughs> the bell, <laughs> the bell tolls for this once great nation. Build back better, my ass. More like build up from the rubble, if you can, or get the hell out of there. To the woods, to hideaways, small shacks in the Ozarks, Tennessee mountains, California area isn't safe. Side note: I have heard a lot of people talking about different places they want to go, different mountain ranges. But he was very specific which mountain ranges. He mentioned here, so if you <laughs> if you believe these words are from the Lord, like take a look at which mountain ranges those are because I keep hearing people say they want to hide in certain places. So please double check with the Holy Spirit where you should go. Head to the eastern side if you're on the west coast. Unless I am told you, you're meant to die in a certain way. Okay, my loves, a bit of a doozy today. Again, there's a difference between I am's true warnings and a demonically filled, fear-based, Rima demonic message. And he says, okay, enough for today. And then he gave me a specific word. But I will tell you all what he said at the very end. It says, love, Father, and Messiah, Jesus." And Jesus is German for Yeshua. Yeah, I just, I think... Just so you all know, I was smiling about those pets going to sleep because I think a little um, animal going to sleep in exhaustion is like one of the cutest things ever. I'm not laughing at y'all if you're scared about casting a demon out. And I, I just want to do a quick commentary on that. And I did in the last video too. If you're afraid how to do it, um, you can first of all rebuke the fear that you have in yourself. And you can ask God to clear out any fear that you have and bless you bless you with peace so that would be like i rebuke the spirit of fear in the name of yeshua or any physical fear any chemical um, signs of fear in my body that are holding me back lord i pray that you help my heart to calm down help me to have your peace help me to have supernatural peace in the name of yeshua so that's very simple 
and then you go from there and you can ask God to give you the words but here I give you a suggestion for your words and you don't have to touch the animal especially if it has a demon inside you can just stretch your hand out towards the animal or just even look at it you don't have to put on a show and you just say I rebuke anything demonic in the name of Yeshua and I command it to leave this animal in the name of Yeshua right now leave and that's it and then if it doesn't work you can just try it again and then if it still doesn't work you can do some fasting so like if you never fast you hardly ever fast just doing one meal or two meals will get the attention of the Lord and the demonic if you're used to fasting then be sure to do whatever <laughs> go your limit like do your limit that you can do I've heard people say they can go seven days I'm not at that level <laughs> There are different ways to do it. All right, I'm gonna try to mix it up at the end till I figure out which ones I like. This is from Luke's, uh, Luke chapter eight. No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a container to hide it or puts it under a bed. Instead, he puts it on a lampstand so that those who come in may see the light. There is nothing hidden that will not become evident nor anything secret that will not be known and come out into the open. So be careful how you listen. For whoever has a teachable heart, to him more understanding will be given. And whoever does not have a, long, a longing for the truth, even what she thinks she has, will be taken from her.